This screencast will concern higher order partial derivatives and differential equations. And the idea is the following. Given a function of several variables, such as this function of two variables, you now ought to be able to compute not just the first derivatives, d by dx and d by b dy, but higher derivatives like the second derivative with respect to x, or the second derivative with respect to y, or what are called mixed uh, partial derivatives, a derivative with respect to x and then y, or the derivative with respect to y and then x. As discussed in the notes, and as you'll see here, these are generally equal. So you ought to be able to compute these derivatives and also be able to verify partial differential equations. So this is a partial differential equation, an equation involving partial derivatives of u. And given u, by computing these various partial derivatives, you ought to at least be able to verify that a certain equation is true. So let's, um, let's do this example problem. We'll just start. We'll um, start by computing x derivative. That would be a natural place to start. The x derivative of this, let's see, this function. So uh, log will give me a 1 over e to the x plus e to the y. Again, we have to use the chain rule for one variable. So I, now I have to differentiate e to the x with respect to x, which will simply give me e to the x. So I'll just compactify here. Now, uh, at this point, we could do various things, but I think I'll go ahead and just compute the next, the uh, second x derivative. So just to be clear, I have the first derivative. Yeah, let's, actually, let's just write it this way. So this is the derivative with respect to x, partial derivative with respect to x, but I just computed is this. Okay, so I just simply want to differentiate again with respect to x. This will be the quotient rule. Again, if any of this is unclear, just pause the video and think about it. Now you'll see this this will cancel with that. Maybe I'll let you do that. And you'll see the answer is, it looks to be e to the x, e to the y over this denominator. So I have this second derivative here, which I've now computed. Now there's various possibilities as to what to do next, but I think what I'm going to do is I think I'll bring this down and differentiate this with respect to y now. So I'll do d by dy of what I computed here, d by dx. But as I say, I'll have the derivative dy dx. Let's, uh, let's differentiate, I have to differentiate this with respect to y. The x's are constant here. Well, let's just do it. That'll be e to the x. T uh, I'll pick up a minus e to the e to the x plus e to the y squared times the derivative of this, which will give me an e to the y, which I'll just put right on top there. Okay, so let's go on. We need to take the first y derivative of this. So let's do that du dy, just the first y derivative, and that will be similar to x. Um, using the chain rule for one variable, I now have to differentiate e to the y. So I have that, and again, I now have to do um, two things. I have to compute the second derivative with respect to y, and I also have to compute the derivative with respect to x. Well, I was, all right, let's do it this way. I've computed the derivative with respect to y, in order to get this quantity here, um, I now have to differentiate this with respect to x. So let's do that. And in fact, I'm going to do it. Uh, I'm going to take this and I'm going to do it up over here. So I'm going to take d by dx of the result I got just got, which is d, d by dy of u. So I'm going to differentiate this with respect to x. That's simply going to be, and you'll see. Um, as I said, that uh, as long as the functions are uh, resulting functions are continuous in a way that I haven't defined, but in, in a way that you should intuitively kind of understand, will generally be true. This this partial mixed partial derivative, where I first differentiated with respect to x and then with respect to y, I got that as an answer. And here I differentiated with respect to y and then with respect to x. Those answers are the same. It's a nice little check. All right, we have one more to, to, to do, the second partial derivative with respect to y, this last one here. So we can fit it in here, so let's do that. I'm simply going to now differentiate with respect to y, what I already differentiated. And that will be, I have to differentiate this with respect to y, so again, it's a quotient rule. Again, this e to the y times e to the y will cancel this e to the y times e to the y. So I'll be left with e to the x, e to the y over this denominator. So let's, uh, I don't know if I need to mark these. These are our results. So this is, this is what we need here. That's our second derivative with respect to x. These are our mixed partials. You can use either one. I ask you specifically here to do, use this one. It doesn't really matter. They're the same. 
and uh, this is our second derivative with respect to y here. So what we have to do, having computed these second derivatives, we want to verify this differential equation. Unfortunately, I think I'll have to go to the next page, so why don't we grab it real fast here. Unfortunately, I've written down all the, uh, all the derivatives, so I have them here. And let's just start going. So this is, since I did it in yellow, I'll continue. It actually is the same. Then we have to subtract off this squared, and I'll make a big square bracket here, and that was, and all of that is squared. That's, this square is that two. Well, it seems clear, this is, um, this and this are just simply the same, so I subtract them, and uh, I get zero, and there, there you go. I verified the differential equation. So uh, that's it. That's what. Uh, that's the kind of problems you have to be able to do. That's the kind of things you should understand. You should be able to compute, given some function of several variables. You should not just be able to take one derivative, but as many derivatives as you're asked to take, just by repeated differentiation. There are going to be many, many possible cases. A function of uh, two variables, second derivatives. Potentially, there are four, although two of them will be equal to the, the mixed partials. Again, in almost every case in this course. But as you go to higher derivatives and, and more variables, of course, there can be quite a number to compute, but you can do them. And if given a partial differential equation, you ought to be able to take what you computed, plug it into the partial differential equation, and verify that it's true.